Welcome back to episode 5 of me trying to play Monopoly in real life. In episode 1 I went from Dubai to Istanbul to cross Bosphorus Bridge. Episode 2 from Istanbul to Stonehenge in the UK. Episode 3 from Stonehenge to the Acropolis in Greece. And episode 4 I have just lived in Athens with no money for 24 hours. And now I am still in Athens. I might get out of Athens one day. Today is definitely the day I'm getting out of Athens. I just need to find somewhere so I can get the board out of my bag, roll the dice and see where we're going next. The time now is 10.56 p.m. So it is late. I've just come out the back of doing that no money challenge, so I am so tired. So there's a hotel just down here. So I think I'm gonna stay there. As Soon as I get there now, I'm gonna open the board, I'm gonna roll the dice, probably sleep there for the night and see where the next flight is to wherever I'm going. The problem I've got now, which I could do without, is that by going to jail, I've obviously gone right back around the board. So I'm almost starting again. I hope I don't go anywhere that I've already been. Right, this is the hotel now. Let's get this board out. The last name? Wilson. Wilson Simon. That's the one. 510. Perfect. Thank you so much. 510, yeah? Perfect. Have a good night. All checked in. I'm going to open the board in the room. It was a bit noisy downstairs. Right, where are we going? Come on. Right, chance go there, travel journal go there. I am currently in jail, which is there, and I've got the dice, so I've just come out of jail. So now we're back here. Do not go back to Stonehenge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am not rolling at eight, because I'm not going back to London, please. I can't go back to Stonehenge. Don't do this to me. If I roll eight, I'm gonna flip the board. Right, here we go. Let's have a look what we've got. So, one, two, three. So, Niagara Falls is probably the furthest. And then we've got all these are in Europe. So, let's see. Right, here we go. Come on. Come on. Eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. The Grand Canal Venice. Just to clarify, eleven... Grand Canal Venice. Ooh, right, we are going to Venice in Italy. Let me have a look at flights. I hope there's a flight tomorrow. They should be out of Athens, shouldn't they? Right, just looking. There's two direct flights from Athens to Venice tomorrow. One's at 8.15, getting into Venice at 9.35. And one's at 2.50, getting into Venice at 4.15pm. So I either get the early one, get less sleep, but get more in Venice and gives me the full day or I get the one in the afternoon get a good lie in but I only get to Venice at 4.15 then obviously I've got to get from the airport to Venice is that cutting it short is it going to get dark after some thought I'm going to get the one in the morning so I'm not going to get much sleepier because I'm going to have to be at the airport for 6.15 but I'm going to get to bed as soon as possible now I'm going to book this flight and we are going to go to Venice at 8.15 so on that note I'm going to try and get some sleep and I'll see you in the morning. Well, I definitely shouldn't have bought the morning one. That wasn't a great idea because now I'm knackered and I would love the lion. Oh, I need to go. Let's get leaving. Oh, I've had a mare. I fell back to sleep, didn't I? The time now is 6.23. My flight at 8.15, so in like one hour, 50 minutes. And it takes 50 minutes to get to the airport. This is not good. I just need to check out. I forgot my room number. It's Simon Wilson. I'm in a massive rush because I'm a bit late because okay, I slept no in. Are Wilson's you okay? Last name. Uh, Wilson's last name, Simon. 510, I found it. No worries. Okay, can you check me out, yeah? yeah, yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Have a good one, mate. Cheers. Oh, no, this is not good. Taxi. What is this? Is this it? Hi, how are you? Simon. Yeah, Simon, yeah. Thank you so much. How many minutes to airport? 33. 33 minutes, ah, okay, great, that's good news. 33 minutes to get to the airport, so that puts me there just after seven o'clock, so it gives me literally just over an hour to check in, get through security, and to board that plane, which, let's be honest, is not ideal. <sighs> let's just hope we don't hit any traffic on the way to the airport.
It's a good day, my friend. Good day, for sure. Thank you. If Thank yeah, you. Have a good right. day. See you later. Have a good one. See ya. We are proper up against it. It has just gone 7 o'clock. My flight's at 8.15 in an hour and like 10 minutes. And I've not even checked in yet. I need to find this desk pronto. Excuse me, where's Aegon desks? Over there. Over there, thank you. This is not great. I can't find the gates. I've literally got five minutes to check in here. Or they won't let me check in less than an hour before the flight. You need to help me, please. Yes. Um, my flight is in like one hour and I haven't checked in yet. You should go after the balloons. Is that the quickest way or can Are I you check in here? Uh, Aegon, I, listen, my flight is in one hour. If I wait in this queue, I will never check in. After the balloons, they will ask you. Okay, thank you. But this is Aegon here, right? Yes. So I could just check in here, right? It's only for business and gold members. I know, but I'm going to miss my flight. Can I just check in here, please? I understand, but it's only for business and gold. You should go okay, up I, to the balloons and I'll, they will ask you. Hi. Hello. My flight is in like one hour and I haven't checked in yet. You can try the self one, so you don't have to wait in line. Ah, so I can do that? Yeah, okay, important. perfect, thank you. Even better if this works. Oh, happy days, confirmed, check in. Let me check in, no baggage. Oh, happy days, happy days. That's everything, done. Thank you so much for your help. I really appreciate it, thank you. That woman has literally saved this flight, but I've still only got one hour to get through security and to get to the gate. Right, security's here, come on. Thank God for that, security was pretty quick. So we're looking good, finally. Stressful, that. I was literally five minutes off not being able to print my boarding pass then. What we're looking for, gate B19, B19. There we go, gate B19. Hi, how are you? Cheers, thank you. Have a nice life. How's that all good? Yeah, thank you. Greece has been amazing. Next stop, Venice. Thank you so much. First one on the plane. 11F, this is me. I am so glad we made this flight. I will be in your vlog. Oh, you will be. Thank you so much, have a good one. And we've arrived in Venice. Look at the weather here. Just gonna find a way out of this airport now. That surely can't be right. I've literally just walked straight off the plane through the exit, no passport control. Do you not need to get your passport stamped between Greece and Italy? That's odd. Maybe it's down to the fact that they're both in the EU, maybe. Right, how do I get out of this airport into Venice? Because this is definitely not in the centre of Venice. Here we go, public transport tickets. Let's see what they say. Hi, how are you? Um, how do I get to Venice from here? I don't know where I'm going, just into the centre. City centre is here. San Marco, yeah? Okay, great. I'll go to San Marco. How do I get from here to San Marco? By boat. By boat. 51 way, 27 return, open 30 days. Ah, okay, perfect. Um, I'll get a round trip then for 27 euros, please. And how often are the boats? Every 30 minutes, the next one is in uh, 25 minutes. The next one's in 25 minutes, perfect. How long does it take for the boat to go to Venice? One hour and 15. One hour and 15 <laughs> just to get there? Oh, so it's a long way then. Okay, perfect, thank you so much. Cheers, thank you. Come back. Same ticket to come back. Okay, perfect. If I lose it, I will stay in Venice. Follow the blue sign, water transport. Then. Water transport, blue sign. Thank you so much. That seemed easy enough. How much money are we going to have on that I'm definitely going to lose this ticket? Where am I going here? Water transport this way. I think it's water transport. Here we go, water transport. So far, so good. We've got a ticket to the centre of Venice, which is San Marco. But I need to get to the bridge on the Monopoly board on the picture of Venice, but I forget what it's called. It's a famous bridge in Venice. Water transport, two minutes away. Right, this is it, we're in the port. These must be all the boats we're going on. They're all pretty similar. All these docks are all numbered from one to 14. And I've got a funny feeling the lady upstairs told me which number I need to go to, and I've totally forgot. I've been to Venice once before, and I'm sure I've done this before, but for the life of me, I cannot remember what I did. Excuse me, which is the line for San Marco? The blue line from the dock 12B. 
12B, perfect, thank you. Here we go, blue line, dock 12B. That was simple enough, to be fair. 27 euros for a round trip. For an hour and 15 there, an hour and 15 back. Bargain. Okay, maybe we're not going on one of those small boats. This boat's massive. I'm sure this is the one we're going on, it's huge. Right, here we go, we're getting on the boat now. Hi, how are you? Do you want a hand at all? Oh, no, I'm good, thanks. You sure? Next stop, a San Marco. I wish I could speak Italian. I'm gonna do a foreign accent, but none of the language. Best 27 euros I've ever spent, this posh, this. This is mega, this, we're just setting off now. We've even got me private window. I can't believe this boat's gonna take an hour and a quarter, so it must be a decent distance away, unless this boat just goes really slow. No wonder it takes an hour and a quarter. Look at this guy. Is this St. Max? Yes. Marco, yeah, perfect. Have a good one, mate. See you later. We're now in Venice, but we still need to find this bridge. I tell you what, this place is amazing. I'm just walking alongside the canal now. St. Marco Square is just here. There we go, some gondolas. I feel like I need to go on a gondola. How busy is it here, trying to get through? Excuse me, excuse me. Oh, wow, this is ridiculous. This is San Marco Square. Goes back there, and that is just ridiculous. Look at that. The first time we came here, this square was completely open, but now it's completely closed off. Looks like there's a big concert. Excuse me, you speak English? No English, no problem. Concert? Sí. Music? Sí, 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 ah, Laura, tonight? Sí. Sing Laura Pausini. Laura Pausini. Ah, okay. Is she famous? Sí. Very famous. Sí. Ah, okay. And is this tonight? Oggi, dom tomorrow. Eh, dom oh, domani. every night. Three, Three nights. And sí. first night tonight. Sí. Grazie mille. Thank you so much. Okay. Has anyone ever heard of Laura Palsini? I've never heard of her. Is she any good? I think we're going to find out tonight. The plan now is to find this bridge. I have zero clue where I'm going. I am just walking through this very busy street and hopefully I'm going to stumble across it. Which way? Let's go right. Let's, no, let's not go down there. At this rate, we're going to get to this bridge in about three days. Look at this sign up here, Per Rialto. I remember what the bridge is called now. It is called Rialto Bridge. How cool is this? Look at this. There's the gondola. Excuse me, you speak English? Where's Rialto Bridge? Can you go on one of these to Rialto Bridge? From here? How long does it take on here to Rialto? The tour with the Rialto costs 100 euros. If you want to stop there, it's the same price because after I have to come back. Ah, okay. And how long would it take to get to Rialto if we come now? 10, 15 minutes. Oh, so not long. Do you mind if I come on? Let's do it. Do I need cash or do can I pay card? Can you wait for me and I will go and get cash? Where's the closest ATM? Down the street. Okay, perfect. Can you give me one minute and I will be back? Perfect. Happy days. He's going to take me to Rialto, I just need to get some money out. A hundred euros. Oh, I don't know if that's good or bad. ATM? Ah, just straight down here. Ah, yeah, here. Grazie. Thank you. ATM, ATM. Here we go, ATM. What are the chances this guy's waited for me, do you reckon? I'm going to give it 50-50. All good? Oh, cheers. I can sit in the back. No problem, I will pay. 100, 100 euros, yeah. Thank you so much. Where do we go now then? It's a small canal, you go in a grand canal, you see the Alto Bridge and you drop just at the bridge. Do we go underneath the bridge? Ah, perfect, thank you so much. Well, I didn't think I would be on a gondola on the canals of Venice tonight. What's your name, sorry? Paolo. Paolo, Simon. Nice to meet you, Paolo. Paolo is the main boy. Oh wow, look how close we're getting to this. So, what time do you work from, Paolo? Do you work from the morning all day? From 9 o'clock in the morning. 9 o'clock in the morning till what time at night? Till, uh, 10, 11. 10, 11 p.m. Wow, and are you busy all day? Yes. Really, wow. How many gondolas are in Venice? 440. 440 gondolas, wow. How long have you been on the gondolas for? How many years in Venice? 44. 44 years, wow. And how has it changed since you've been here? 
not change a lot. Not change a lot. Only the number of people. The number really, of number of people goes higher and higher, yes. Many times ago it was about uh, 3, 4 million a yeah. year. Now we're 25 million. 25 million now? And when was 3 or 4 million? How long ago was this? 1980. 1980 was 3 or 4 million and now in 2023 there's 25 million people who come. Crazy. This is amazing though, look at this. These buildings, like when was this even built? I don't really know what's going on in there. Oh yeah, what's in here? Look at that water right to the door. Every single gondola that goes past has got a couple on it, drinking wine and roses. And I'm just getting some funny looks because I'm just sat here on my own speaking to myself into a camera. Ciao. This is what I'm talking about, literally everyone is a couple on these gondolas, bar me. Me and Paolo are just having a romantic moment under the bridge. Paolo, I didn't think I would be having a romantic moment with you on this. I thought the first time would be with a woman. <laughs> if I would have known Paolo, I could have brought some limoncello with me and we could have drank it together. You had to buy before. I know, I'll buy it later, I come back. <laughs> Is this the Grand Canal now? We're coming into the Grand Canal just under this bridge here. This is it, the Grand Canal. Are you ready for this? The moment of truth, the one we've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Rialto Bridge. We've done it. Happy days. Look at it, it looks amazing. That is some bridge, that. That is literally the picture on the Monopoly board. Couldn't get much closer, I'm about to go underneath it. And just before we go underneath it, we're just about to crash into this man. Why is he doing donuts in the Grand Canal? There we've got Rialto Bridge, and we are going underneath it. We've just come out the other side now. There is Paolo, the main driver, and Rialto Bridge. How many times have you been under this bridge? One trillion times? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking, I'm sure one of these buildings on the Grand Canal was in a James Bond film. Was one of these buildings in a James Bond film? No, the, the building of James Bond is just on the other side. Ah, it's on the other side, but there is one from James Bond here, right? Let me give you one last look of Rialto Bridge before I get off. There it is. Oh yeah, what's Jason Statham doing coming past on a boat? Look at that hotel, that is literally the entrance to the hotel. I think this is us. Thank you so much. This is for you. you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks a lot. You're a good Enjoy man. Time. I'll try and get Ciao, out without grazie. falling. Grazie mille. Grazie. Thank you. Paolo, what a boy. Well, we've been under the bridge and now we're going over it. I tell you what, this bridge is busy. Well, this is the view off the top of the bridge. Some view. That is literally the whole Grand Canal curling around. The buildings are amazing. The camera just doesn't do it any justice. On that note, Venice done. I just need to find somewhere to get this board out and roll the dice and see where we're going next.